Welcome back. This is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today, we're going to talk about natural support for the lungs. Here in the Northeast, it's allergy season, and there's pollen in the air, which gets into our lungs and often triggers asthma for some patients, as well as lung infections. Also, there's an ever mutating virus that's going around. And despite the Herculean efforts of the US government, we are still seeing an uptick in the virus. So lung health is gonna be very important for that virus. So let's talk about some of the functions. The lung is responsible for bringing oxygen into the body and releasing carbon dioxide. The, every cell in our body needs oxygen. So the lung is responsible for bringing it into our body. So it's very important organ in terms of oxygenation. Helps to eliminate toxins, coughing, sneezing, coughing up phlegm, is releasing toxins from our body. So it's very important that we, we are able to cough things out of our system. Common respiratory conditions, right? The top five, let's say. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, respiratory infections, TB or tuberculosis, lung cancer. So lung cancer, we often think about um, things like smoking or env environmental toxins that really get into our lungs. But also there are invisible gases that can be produced in your home that can create lung cancer. So you'll find these people who have lung cancer, never smoked, never worked in a environmentally toxic environment, yet they can still have lung cancer. Asthma is another one, five most common. Here are some others, pulmonary fibrosis, sarcoidosis, cystic fibrosis, and then there's some mechanical issues or neurological issues that can create sleep apnea and lack of oxygenation. So it's very important to evaluate if you have sleep apnea, if you don't have quality sleep, or if you're feeling very tired during the day despite uh, sleeping for eight hours. All right, so it's important to evaluate sleep apnea. So what do we do? Diet is very important. It's important to eliminate inflammatory foods. So anti-inflammatory diet with high antioxidant foods. Things like dark chocolate, pecans, uh, berries. Uh, they're very important for antioxidant effects. Now, an anti-inflammatory diet can mean different things for different uh, patients. So some people can do very well on a paleo diet, carnivore diet, ketogenic diet, AIP diet. Really, the diet needs to be customized to the individual patient. If you wanna try a very aggressive one, I would suggest an AIP diet or autoimmune paleo diet uh, to start off to see if that makes an impact. Air quality is very important. You need a HEPA filtration uh, in the house. You can get one of those portable ones and make sure it has a HEPA filter in there. Exercise is very important because it helps lung capacity. And then you have to avoid mold at all costs. Mold is very rampant, uh, water damage uh, to buildings, homes. So you wanna make sure the, the house that you're in and the workplace that you are working at does not have mold. Supplements, top five that I would utilize is N-acetylcysteine or NAC, or you can use liposomal glutathione. NAC is a precursor to make glutathione, very important antioxidant. Cordyceps is a fungus, and it can help, up, uh, help the lungs uh, improve oxygenation. Zinc, quercetin, vitamin D, plus K, and then you can also utilize, if you want, curcumin, EGCG from green, uh, green tea, flavonoids like apigenins and luteolins, and astragalus. So you can utilize these during the peak seasons of allergy season or peak seasons where people get a lot of colds and viruses uh, to help uh, inhibit lung infections or, or recover from lung, lung infections very quickly. Now, if you look at some of these vitamins or supplements, they are actually zinc ionophores. 
meaning it helps drive zinc into the cells and helps uh, prevent viral replication. So most of the supplements are antioxidants, antiviral or antibacterial in nature, which helps clear the lungs out. Okay? So the number thing, one thing is to avoid the env environmental toxins, smoke, etc. Get out of moldy environments. Do the dietary changes to an anti-inflammatory diet. Make sure the uh, air in your home is very clean. And then using supplementation to help you get out of an acute state. So I will link all the videos because I actually have a video on most of these supplements uh, that I made. So you can watch each one and look at the dosages and when to take them, etc. All right. My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.